Uh, let me hope. Let me hope that uh, everyone that has been logging in uh, has been listening carefully, because uh, Dennis has really taken very very good time to share with us very good information about uh, sponsoring. And uh, you know, I, I think one of the biggest statements I, I have gotten from him right off when we're starting, uh, that I also need us to get, uh, that I also need us to get, is that uh, sponsoring is not part of the business. Sponsoring is actually the business. New Life pays us for we have been able to introduce as many people as possible to this business to use the products. So the more the more we actually get people registered to use products to become customers, the more the organization is going to grow and the more the business is going to grow and the bigger the, our commissions and, and also profits. So the only difference that you will find from actually someone who is actually earning uh, 2 million shillings and someone who is earning 10 million and someone who is earning uh, 50 million, Dennis told you he has seen Charlie's check of 1.2 billion shillings. I personally have also seen a check of uh, 2.8 million US dollars that is paid by near life. Now, why these people are able to earn these big commissions is because they have millions and millions of people using the products. So if we are also going to have become uh, executive managers, for example, our, our income plan for, for, for you to be able to, our income plan for Team Lion Kings is in the next one to three months, each one of us should have built an executive manager size of business. But now an executive size manager of business you need to be having at least like 20 to 30 people on your what? On your team, which comes to what? To sp which comes back to sponsoring. So we need to learn this skill as fast as possible. Is it hard? Yes. When you are starting, it is a little bit challenging. That one, it, that one is very clear. But as you continue speaking to people, as you continue doing presentations, as you continue attending meetings, as you continue doing these things, these things keep on becoming better and easier and easier. I will honestly tell you that by the time I was starting the business, I never used to speak like this. Dennis, I've just stopped Dennis, but if I had not stopped Dennis, Dennis would have even talked for another two hours. He didn't start like this, but it's because he kept on doing these things over and over and over and over again. I can tell you that when Dennis was starting the business to do, do sponsoring, it was very, very difficult for him to sponsor. Very difficult. Because if I'm not mistaken, he took about uh, 10 months to become director. But those 10 months he took to become director, it's not that he never wanted to become director, it's because he was finding it a challenge to sponsor. But today he's sponsoring like a machine. Why? Because he's been able to acquire these skills. What is the message behind? that all of us can become intentional at learning these things. We learn them, we learn these skills, and tomorrow we are going to be one of the best at sponsoring. It is possible, it is doable. You just have to keep on learning while acting. Whatever you learn, put into action. Whatever you learn, put into action. Now the things you're learning today, make sure you put them into action. Now, I'm going to speak a little bit about uh, building relationships because Dennis kept on hinting on it, hinting on it, hinting on it. And one thing that I would love to openly tell you is that when you build, build relationships, build friendships, and friends will help you to build the business. Now, I repeat that statement, build relationships, build friendships, and friends will help you to build the what? the business. I can openly tell you that today, as we speak today, 98% of my business were the people who I actually built, who I actually turned into friends, even after joining the business. Most of my friends, I could say, I um, some of my friends, my relatives helped me to become director. But most of them joined because they wanted to help me to become a director. And when I became director, most of them left. So 98% of the people that I have today in my business, all of them, 
I met them and I built those friendships after I had joined the business. Meaning you need to be intentional about it. It should be a goal. It should be a target that today I need to add five names into the name list. I need to build new friendships. You have gone to churches. You have gone to fellowships. You have gone, you have gone for parties. You've gone for meetings. Make it a point that you build new friends. Evelyn Murema is a director and is becoming a safari director this year. We met at a party and I was like, hi, how are you? My name is Justice Mohomza. I work with New Life International. And she said, I know this company. I, know, I used to use the products. We became friends. Today, she has an organization, I think, of close to 300 people. How did it start? It started by me making that step. And I, you know, when I started the party, my goal was to add a name into the name list. And I said hello to her. She said hello to me. And I said, I work with New Life International and we exchange numbers and today we are building business. So you need to be intentional about building what? Building relationships, building relationships and relationships will help you to build the what? The business. Now, when you are starting out on your business, we already have that natural market, the people that we know. Those are the best you can start on. Those are the best you can start on some of them will join. Some of them, like Dennis mentioned, some of them are going to join later on when they have seen you succeed. Some of them will never join, but they can actually help you to build the what? To build the business. Now, let me tell you about a, 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 a strategy that one of my friends gave me. This friend of mine was going to organize for a wedding. And I had, he had over 2,000 names in his phone. And uh, he wanted these people to contribute money. So what he did, he started communicating to them and uh, communicating to them and rebuilding the trust, rebuilding the friendship like I am in advance. Now, it is very, very funny when you have, uh, you haven't been, if, for example, I am your friend, I'm in, I'm in your contacts. You haven't been in touch with me for the last five years. And now because you have found a business idea, you give me a call and you tell me that you have a business that you want to show me. You have some products that you would want to sell to me. It is so funny. I will start asking, yeah, this person has been, um, he has been not in touch with me. Let me hope he has not become a mafere, you know? So one of the things that you're going to do, especially from the people that are in your contacts, that you haven't been in touch with for a very long time. Don't go straight away and start telling them about the business, no. Just give them a call. Hi, Mary, how are you? It's been a while. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, we haven't talked in the last like maybe two years. So how have you been? How is your family? How is work going on? I just called to check on you to know how you are and to know how your family is. I am very sorry, I haven't been in touch with you for a very long time, but that is going to end today. Full stop, have, enough, have, a, have a, 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 a nice weekend. That should be the starting point. Then another time, like after one week, you can give them a call, check on them, find out how they are, how their family is, how work is going on, you know. Start rebuilding that friendship. Then after like some time, after like a month or two, depending on how you've been building the rapport, then you can call them and say, by the way, we've been talking and you tell me that you're doing this. If I showed you a business that you can actually do part-time for part-time income, would you be interested? Ask them that magic question. If they've told you the well, so how is work, by the way, what do you do? And they say, by the way, I am a stay-at-home mother, bichi bichi, you know? The next time you give them a call, say, by the way, you told me you're a stay-home mother. If I showed you a home-based business that you can run part-time for part-time income, would you be interested? It is a yes or a no. If it is a no, well and good. But trust me, that no, with the time, it can also turn into a what? Into a yes. Or if it is a yes, then go ahead and create an appointment, meet them, and talk about the business. If you've been talking and talking and you, you know this, this person that you've been in your phone for a very long time and you have not been in touch and now you've built the rapport, you know, and you, now they've even told you that they are farmers. You tell them, by the way, I work with the farmers and I help farmers to, to better their yields. 
if you don't mind, can we meet one of these days and we talk about it? So that is how you can go ahead and make the what? The phone calls and make the appointment. So if you haven't been in touch with someone for a very long time, it is very wrong for you to go ahead and tell them business straight away. Start on building that relationship first. Or even when you meet someone new, like at a party or at a wedding or where you are, first build a relationship first. First build a friendship first. Then after you've been able to build that friendship, then go ahead and tell them what you do. Are we together, ladies and gentlemen? So it all begins with a relationship. It all begins with a friendship. So let's start that way. Let's start that way. Let us also become very intentional. And then let's see how we can start on building the what? On building the business. Remember, build the relationships and the relationships will help you build the what? Build the business. And then also the other thing, um, the other thing that uh, you also have to do as you're building relationships, you need to care for people. Please write down this statement. People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. We need to care for people and it needs to be genuine. Genuine. Let, let's not, let, let people not suspect that maybe we are trying to befriend them or trying to care for them because there's something we need from them. No. Even when they, if someone says no, I am not interested in that business. Please still keep in touch with them. Still keep in touch with them. We were in a training today and Evelyn told us a very interesting statement. She said that if, for example, you're a man and you're looking for a life partner, do not expect a yes the very first time. Keep in touch, keep on. Some relationships you're even going to have to build for a year. Others you're going to have to build for two years until until they say what they say yes and when they say yes it is going to be a very very good yes so continue building the friendships and so we've talked about you need to care for people genuinely and then the other thing that also dennis hinted on as you're trying to build new relationships to help you to build the business please it is your level and above look only quality people, I have a speaker that I follow, he's called uh, Les Brown. He says, only quality people, only quality people, look for quality people. Quality people are also going to bring you other quality people. Quality friends have quality friends. There is no any rich friend that has poor friends. No, rich friends have rich what? Have rich friends. So build relationships intentionally. And then the other thing that uh, as uh, we're talking about building relationships, uh, let me see, let me see what have I not talking about, what have I not talked about? Build relationships with the world. You need to build as many friends as what? As possible. Remember that um, the big, if you have big dreams and you want big income, you need to have as many friends as what? As possible. So let it be a team spirit that we build friendships and then teach your team how to do some of these things. And then as I conclude, as I conclude, I want to talk about also the other very most important thing. This morning I was listening to, to uh, Jim Rohn and he was saying that the fortune, the real money, is in the follow-up. The real money is in the follow-up. I know, ladies and gentlemen, it is always frustrating when you invite someone and someone says, I am coming, and they don't come. I know it is frustrating. Someone says, I am coming to pay tomorrow, and they don't come. I know it is frustrating. I know it is frustrating to keep on talking to people, and all you're getting is a no, a no, a no. In fact, let me tell you one thing. I learned when I was senior manager. When I was a senior manager, I was told that uh, our business is a no, 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 no 10 times, and then yes. Let me think about it. Then again, you start no, 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 and a yes. Then again, you start a no, a no, a no, and a yes. If you're not ready for a no in this business, then it is going to be very, very frustrating for you. But let me tell you, it is always a no. When you keep in touch with a person, you keep on building the friendship, 
you keep on caring for them, you keep on, they keep on watching your life change, then it is going to be, wait a minute, I think you need to tell me more about what you're doing, you know? Let me tell you about a story about a friend of mine. He's called Bruce. Now, Bruce, I spoke to him when I was a senior manager about the business. And Bruce told me, just as, first look at me, a son of a general, hmm? to sell soap, an engineer to be. First look at me, really. How did you even think about it? For me to hawk task, hawk open soap. And the gentleman, I, I knew automatically with the attitude he had shown me, I knew automatically this man will never join. One year later, my picture was in the magazine posing with a check of 6 million shillings. So a, lady, a certain lady who was also new into this business spoke to Bruce about the business. And when he spoke to Bruce about the business, Bruce told this lady that don't even waste your time. I know those things. Let me tell you, actually, I have a friend of mine is called Justice Muhumza. He's into those things, but he tried introducing me. I told him I can't do those things. And then the lady said, wait a minute, you mean you're not just as Muhumza and you have never joined this business? Wait a minute, let me even show you. He got a magazine that I was in that I had, I had six, a check of six million and he showed this to this guy. This guy joined, I met this guy at office. He had just bought 10 boxes of Supergro. You can imagine. Ever since then, I developed a policy with a follow-up that when I speak to someone about the business, I am going to follow them up. I will keep in touch with them, whether they are buying or they are not buying, but I will keep in touch with them until one of them dies. If I die first, my son will take over and start following from where I have started, from where I have stopped. But I'm telling you, I am going to follow up people if someone says no, I am going to follow up and follow up until one day he says yes. I mean, if you were a man and you spoke to a lady and the first time you speak to them, they say yes, you would even be scared, isn't it? So it is always a no, a no, a no. Okay, let me think about it, you know. And then, uh, you know, you know, okay, let me, let me think about it. Let me think about it. After six months, one year, finally the lady says what? The lady says yes. That is how business works. Even in new life, that is how things work. So when someone says, he, someone, when you speak to someone and someone is not buying or someone is not joining, please don't take it personal. Just know that is how the game is. Just continue following up. And when you're following up, please don't be too much. You told me you are going to raise the money. You told me you are coming to join. Where are you? I cannot see you. No, 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 no. If you call someone asking for money, the first time, the second time, the third time, they are not going to pick your call. The fourth time, they are going to block you. So when they are, when you're following up, someone has told you, give me about a week, I'll be joining. Just give them a call. Hi, Evelyn, how are you? How have you been? How is work? How is your family? Is everything okay? I just called to say hello to you, to check on you to know how you are. And when you find Evelyn is in a good mood, so by the way, we are supposed to be joining. So when, when do you think, are you about to be ready? And also then the best way, the other best way to follow up. Because I also learned that um, usually people will join after like five meetings, after attending five meetings. So if you have met someone for a one-on-one, -on -one, invite them for a Zoom meeting, for the next Zoom meeting. After you've invited them for the Zoom meeting and they have attended, invite them for the next experience meeting. Are we together? So don't expect someone to join the very first time, no? Know that if you have spoken to someone about the business, invite them for the next meeting, and then the next meeting, and then the next meeting, and then the next meeting. And the fifth meeting, they will be joining. The fifth meeting, or even the 10th meeting. Because people will always join between an average of five to 10 meetings. So keep on following up. Keep on inviting for other meetings. When there is a new lifestyle magazine, give them a call. By the way, our scientific advisory board has published another magazine that is so resourceful. I can't contain myself. I feel you need to read this information. Are you at office? Let me pass by and drop this what? This magazine. Ladies and gentlemen, let us follow up. 
follow up is the actual what? business. There are people that we are going to follow up that will be joining in one month, in two months, in three months, in six months. Others will even join in one year. Others will join in two years, as long as we keep on following up. I always love telling myself that eventually everyone is going to buy the products. Eventually they are going to join. Simply because, I mean, there are people that I have followed up for like, I think almost close to 10 years. Yesterday when COVID came up, they started calling me, oh, my mother, my mother is about to die. I have COVID, I am scared. And I started selling them 10 years, 10 years down the road, they've never bought. But now today they are doing what? They are buying. So ladies and gentlemen, I do believe in you. We do believe in you. We know that we are headed in the right direction. We know that we are going to build very good, successful businesses. I only encourage you to make sure that you keep in meetings, keep on attending meetings. Every challenge you meet, every, every challenge you meet, always share. Do not sit on any problem. Any challenge you meet across the business, please ask. We shall guide you. We are there. We've seen all these things. We've seen all these things. I struggled for five years to start building a customer base. But now I am, a, I am a guru in building customer bases. So come and I teach you how. So keep on attending every meetings. I am quite sure and quite convinced that we are headed in the right direction. And for the new people, for the new people, attend every meeting there is to attend. And also always note that your first three months are majorly for training, for you to learn these skills. So in the case you don't get any results in your first three months, don't be disappointed, don't be frustrated, don't say this business doesn't work. Just know that the first three months are majorly training. Don't expect much. In the case it happens and you make some sales in your first three months and you make some steps, that is good. That is very good. Thank God for it. But the first three months are majorly what? Training. So ladies and gentlemen, I know we are going to make it. I know all of us are going to be directors, especially the people who are in this meeting. By the end of this year, all of us must be directors earning an average of 2.5 million shillings per month. I know we can do this. I know it is possible. And I know we're heading in the right direction. Thank you so much for listening to me. Thank you so much, Dennis, for sharing with us, especially about the referral. The referral. You know, I learned that every time I meet someone, I need to ask them the magic question. By the way, I work with farmers. Do you know any farmers I can be of help to? By the way, I am into nutrition. I'm teaching people how they can live longer and healthier. Do you know any people that I can be of help to? By the way, I am on a mission to raise entrepreneurs to reach their full potential. Do you have some people that would love to, that would want to be entrepreneurs so that I can engage them and see how best I can help them? Keep on asking these magic questions. And the more you ask these magic questions, the better you are going to become. Trust me, some of you are even going to be better than us in the next few months to be. Thank you so much for listening to me and enjoy a blessed weekend. Uh, for the people in Imbarada and Bushen, on the 5th, we are going to be having experience meetings. We are going to be having experience meetings. The flyers are already, uh, are already out. Please let us start mobilizing and, and uh, organizing for that, for those events. Then on the 8th here in Kampala, on the 8th, it's going to be Women's Day. We are going to be having a meeting for only women at Hotel Triangle from exactly 10 to 1. And um, so next week on Saturday, we are going to be hosting a Dr. Esther Nambasi. She's going to be speaking to us about uh, nutrition. So let us let us keep on um, let's keep on uh, organizing ourselves. Let's keep on talking. For let's keep on building the business until we are able to achieve our dreams. Thank you so much. I do believe that we are working seriously for that next trip that is coming up for Mweya.